Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz. I'm a recent ish college graduate and i make productivity tech videos about my life on the internet but anyways today's video i feel very strongly about because i love finding websites that will help make being productive either easier or more seamless or just more enjoyable throughout my four years of college and post-grad i've used so many websites so i feel well versed in this subject but for me personally i feel like my goals and my needs and wants change month to month to be honest and so my monthly rotation changes quite frequently so i'm going to be sharing my top five let me know if you want this to be like a monthly thing because i think that could be really fun these websites will be great for if you're a student a corporate baddie a self-employed baddie or just someone who wants to get their stuff done if you know what i mean so yeah without further ado let's get on with the video for this first website i used to use it all the time in college and i don't know why i stopped i rediscovered my love for it post grad and more recently so that's why i'm going to share it with you because it's seriously so good and it is called milano now there are times in my life where suddenly planners become a little bit intimidating and a little bit restricting for what my needs are i guess like something about the pen to paper action just feels too solidified for my brain that i just want to not do that um and milano i like to describe it as a structured brain dump app it's honestly so beginner friendly and i'll show you why so whenever you create a board within those boards you can add a template for either a weekly planner class notes they have literally everything they have a bunch of templates that you can look through and they're all sorted by category and so my favorite categories to look through are the student and content creator categories the student one for example has like a weekly planner and that one I've been using a lot I love seeing like an overview of my week and what I have to get done but the great thing about Milano is like I said it's this giant blank canvas and yes I have this template but I can go back and add drawings I can add documents I can add extra notes all around it and that's what I really love about it is like you can have the structured template but then you can add in a bunch of other things and make it your own and make it personalized yeah also the content creator category has like a brainstorming template they have like a video plan template and it'll show you an example of what that template can be used for which is also super helpful and another cool thing is that you can download the mobile app it'll sync to your account if you log in and when you're on the go you can edit it and um reference it which is really helpful for me especially like if i have a video plan on there and i'm out and about filming it i can just easily reference it um so i really love that but yeah another one of my favorite templates they have is a mood board template i wish i had used this for when i was decorating my room in my new apartment because it's not going well if you're keeping up with my um series on tiktok and the mood board you can add like color palettes photos drawings and just like again it's like a structured brand dump which i absolutely love i know it's not everyone's cup of tea but if you're someone like me who has a bajillion thoughts and just wants to see them all in one place and look semi-structured this app is for you yeah that's milano okay number two now i am well aware that ai is a very controversial topic in both the academic and creative worlds um but i am a strong believer in the fact that ai can be used as an aid to enhance and foster your ideas to get the juices flowing to essentially be used as an assistant and not a replacement i think that's when it's something that can be really good for the world so i know a lot of us love chat gpt but recently i haven't been using that and i've been using copilot and it's so good the reason why i love it is because i feel like the free version is really great so yes it can reference the internet when you ask questions and it'll give you citations for when it does reference the internet so you can go to that link and see what it's referencing so i am constantly asking copilot questions as opposed to google because it also just says it in a more natural and understanding way it just feels a lot more conversational and you can bounce off of that question as you continue the conversation with it you can literally ask it for prompt ideas that can help you for whether you're a student is asking it to do things like create a routine based on specific things you have to get done with in a certain time frame and then following that routine i really like asking it for workout ideas i haven't worked out in forever but in college i would ask it for workout ideas and like a weekly routine that i can follow my aunt gave me the great idea because for my cousin she asked it to create 
a table of scholarships that matched a certain criteria and then also put the deadline and like the link that she can apply at so i thought that was a really useful case that a lot of students can take advantage of um and then the other great thing about copilot is you can download the app and they have the voice feature for free so you can just have a conversation it's a little creepy but honestly it's really useful and yeah i like asking questions i literally had it help me come up with ideas for my friend's birthday gift and it really helps you save time um yeah i definitely recommend downloading the app on your phone as well if you're like me constantly shopping online and using public Wi-Fi, you know how important it is to stay protected. It is important to keep your information private and secure online, which is why I'm excited to be teaming up with McAfee to tell you about the all-in-one protection they can offer. All you need is a single plan to protect your privacy, identity, and devices when you're online or on the go. Thanks to its always-on real-time scan protection that's powered by McAfee Smart AI, you have one less thing to worry about when you're online. Better yet, you can connect securely to bank, shop, and browse on an internet connection that is actually safe with the secure VPN that turns on automatically to keep you invisible from hackers on public Wi-Fi. And one of my favorite features is the text scam detector that stops scams before you click or block them if you accidentally do. Visit McAfee.com today to get up to 79% off award-winning online protection. Act fast. This Black Friday Cyber Monday deal won't last. Offer ends December 4th, 2024. On to number three. This one I've used since junior year of college. It's called Adobe Acrobat. It's definitely underrated. And here's the thing. Adobe Acrobat, if you do know about it, you probably just know that it's like a PDF reader, but it's much more than that. It also has features where you can convert your files and resize them, but recently they added a feature that makes it unique to all other PDF readers, and that is the AI Assistant, literally the best thing ever. So when you import, say, your class notes, PDF, whatever it may be, they have a multi-document feature where you can switch between those documents seamlessly so you don't have to have a bunch of tabs open first of all and then second of all with AI assistant you can ask questions about both of those documents at once so a really cool use case would be like if you have your lecture note for class one and lecture notes for class two if you want to compare them you can ask it to compare both documents and be like or what are similar themes within both of these documents or what are some points that are made in one of the documents that isn't made in the other so it's actually really cool like the fact that you can ask questions based on multiple documents and then when it answers the questions it'll cite where exactly it got that information from the document you uploaded so when you click on it it'll take you straight to that point in the document um another cool use case is asking it to create like a presentation outline it's really good at that i've tried that multiple times an example that i used um was over the summer where i had uploaded an itinerary and i want to kind of edit it and make it more personalized to what i wanted to do on the trip so i like asked it for recommendations and it was really good at giving me recommendations at that location i was going to but yeah it's really cool and i think they also recently added an image feature you can ask it to generate images that you can add into your document if you ever need to do that you can just easily do it all within adobe acrobat yeah i've seen it used beyond the academic world so not only with class notes and lecture pdfs but also for like business owners who deal with manuals and documents all the time they can easily e-sign with them they share it with someone else so that they can review it add comments they also have a mobile app which is really good because you can use ai assistant on the go if you're going to use any pdf reader you gotta use Adobe Acrobat. It's so worth it. Trust. Okay, this next one is really fun. It's one of my favorites. I talk about it all the time. I probably most definitely have mentioned it on this channel. If not, I mention it all the time on TikTok. So if you follow me there, you know about it already. I just feel like it's so good and I think everybody should know about it. Um, but basically, this app is called lifeat.io. And the thing about me is that I will be 10 times more productive if the vibes are there as well. That's just how my brain is built. And I will, yeah, I'll be more productive if like I'm in a cute coffee shop with my cute little matcha. Trust, I'll lock in. But sometimes you don't have the time or the energy to maybe go to a coffee shop or to go to your favorite spot and you just want to be at home and 
work at home but like the vibes aren't there that is what lifeat.io was created for so basically they have a bunch of spaces that you can pick from and they all provide a different type of ambiance so they have like a city one a coffee shop one there's so many honestly and so when you choose a space it'll play the background and then it'll also play like the noises and again the ambiance like and you can listen to it while you study and they have a bunch of other cool features where you can like add your own study playlist like from spotify and one of my favorites is the pomodoro timer because i used to eat that up in college all the time i would use that method all the time because it was so good so basically you work for a few minutes and then take a break for a few minutes and that helps you keep track of how many times you do that and it has like a timer it's so good if you can think of a space that you want to go to they probably have it all right last but not least we have one that i discovered this year and i know it sounds cheesy to say it but i wish i knew about it sooner and i wish i had it when i was in college honestly i was talking about it and we didn't have chat gpt and all this ai stuff till like the end of my senior year so you guys are lucky and if you're gonna invest in something in any subscription i feel like this is a really good option and you'll see why so say you have a piece of content and it can be a pdf a link an audio they have an option for basically anything i haven't even said the name but it's called mindgrasp ai so you take this piece of content whether it's a file a link a text box or a recording of a live audio you can upload it so if it's a youtube video you can also paste in the link and then once you paste in the link, this thing will essentially create AI generated summaries for you. And the great thing about it is it has it in multiple formats. So it has the AI summary that's like short and sweet to the point, giving you all the main points. But then it also has the AI notes, which is a lot more thorough and a lot more sectioned off based on whatever you uploaded, um, which I found that super helpful. I uploaded a PDF of a notebook that we used in one of my design classes and it created these notes um, of it um, and then the part that had me sat was that you can also create AI flashcards loved flashcards in college I would actually buy the physical flashcards and hand write them all the time and one time actually I was in one of my classes and this girl who was a year below me she was like oh that's so cute like you still do flashcards and I was like Am I old or is nobody else doing flashcards? Everyone was using like Quizlet and like the digital flashcards. Anyways, um, what's really great is that you can upload any piece of content and then you can have it make flashcards for you so you can study for your exam. And then once you want to actually test yourself, you can use the AI quizzes feature. So it'll actually create a quiz for you where you can test yourself. I thought of something cool you can do, which is like record your lecture and then upload it and have it create the AI summary and like the notes in case you missed anything. You can go back and fill in your own notes and then test yourself. Like, this is so good. Um, but yeah, it's called Minecraft AI. They have different payment plans and similar to Adobe Acrobat, you can ask questions about your import on the side. They have like this AI assistant that you can ask questions. I mean, there are several differences. I guess the one thing is you can't upload multiple pieces of content it's just one at a time whereas with adobe acrobat you can do the multi-document let me know if you try any of these i think that was all five comment down below what other videos you want to see from me or if you try out any of these websites and add them to your productivity routine i hope this was helpful but that's everything bye